Hi there, I'm Dr. Noelle Nelson, and it's my pleasure to share a few thoughts with you today, some uplifting, inspiring, and practical tips to help you find greater happiness and success in your life. Today's topic, the I'm sorry syndrome. Your friend calls. Ah, I had a terrible day, they say. The car wouldn't start. My kids are a mess. I'm so unhappy. And you respond with, oh, I'm so sorry. Your friend continues, nothing seems to go right. I don't know what to do. You repeat, I'm so sorry. And they go on and on and on. You feel bad, powerless, and like you should do something, but what? You go home to your partner and it starts again. I have such a headache. You reply, I'm sorry, honey. Yeah, well, they continue, it's really awful. You pipe up once again with, I'm so sorry, honey. And once again, you feel hopeless and powerless and like somehow it's your fault that you should be able to fix it, that you're a not very good person if you don't. What in the world are you apologizing for? Did you contribute to or cause the broken car or the rotten kids or the awful headache? Ah, come on, be honest with yourself. If you did contribute to the problem, then by all means, apologize. But if you didn't, then don't. Take back your power. Don't apologize for something you didn't do. Instead, express your feelings and offer help in a way that is appropriate and feels good to you. For example, when your friend starts in with, Oh, I had a terrible day. Respond with an expression of your feelings, something along the lines of, Gee, that sounds awful. And then ask specifically if there's something you can do. Is there anything I can do to help? Now you are powerful. You are helping your friend, if only work toward a solution, rather than offering your no doubt heartfelt but ineffective, I'm sorry. Let's take the situation one step further. What do you do if in answer to your offer of help, your friend just sighs and says, No, I guess it'll be all right. Well, if they say no, let it go. Don't force your help on someone who really only wanted a shoulder to cry on. But what do you do if they say yes to your offer of help and give you specific ways in which you can help? Well, now you have a choice. You can choose to help them out in the way they ask for, or you can choose not to. Again, without saying, I'm sorry. For example, your friend says, I had a terrible day, etc. You reply, gee, that sounds awful. Is there anything I can do to help? Your friend replies, yes, actually, could you drive me to the market and then take me to the cleaners? Well, if you want to do that, fine, no problem. If you don't want to do it, however, having made an offer of help does not obligate you to helping in a way that is uncomfortable or difficult for you. Be creative. Think of a way to respond to your friend's request without putting yourself in a situation you don't really want to be in. For example, well, I can't do that for you, but I know that X market will deliver, and I'll bet the cleaners will too. As long as you stay in a problem-solving mode, you'll be effective and helpful. So break the I'm sorry syndrome and be a truly good friend. Thank you for listening to Up. And check out my new book, Phoenix Rising, Surviving Catastrophic Loss, Fires, Floods, Hurricanes, and Tornadoes. If you'd like more uplifting, inspiring, practical tips and techniques, please visit my website, noelnelson.com, or take a look at my Meet the Amazings Facebook page. Until next time, be well and take care.